Hi, in this video, I would like to give you a, a short demo uh, of new features that were introduced in uh, my process scanning tools, um, PEC and its wrapper, uh, extending the features, a uh, host hunter. So and the most important um, feature added in the latest release, that is uh, 0.3.9, uh, is that now you are able to add your own signatures for process scan. More about this feature can be, uh, you can learn uh, by reading on the wiki. Uh, in general, I strongly encourage you to read wiki because I'm always trying to um, provide details on every feature. Um, and uh, today uh, I will just add more details in the video to this, but um, you can read what this feature does. So um, basically, uh, I incorporated in PEC um, other module uh, that can also be found on my GitHub. And it's a new engine uh, for pattern matching. And this engine is based on a Hokurasic algorithm, so it's much faster and uh, it allows to uh, add new signatures uh, without introducing much slowdown in in the scan. So, uh, and also uh, not only um, binary signatures, uh, like literal definitions are supported, but now also you can uh, mask a single nibble if, if you don't know what is supposed to be there or to mask out some constants uh, within the code that you're searching for. Uh, so, you can either mask one nibble or both of them in the bytes and definitions um, are like this with, with hexadecimal and with masks. And the format of uh, signatures uh, was described in Wiki and also here. A uh, signature has to start with the name. Uh, then in decimal, uh, you need to define the size in bytes. So how many bytes you that the signature will will have. And that's it. And you can create your own files with multiple signature definitions. And of course, um, just keep it in mind that the more uh, wild cards you will define, uh, it may introduce um, the slowdown. If you have not so many, uh, like, three, four, reasonable, I mean, reasonable size, it's gonna be okay, but signatures like this are, are not recommended because they will make the scan uh, slower. Uh, but yeah, you can experiment with it and try by yourself. So for the purpose of today's demo, I prepared a signature uh, for Heaven's Gate technique, uh, the implementation that I know uh, Radamantis uses, and you can have a quick look how the signature is made. So it has a name, it has a land, and it has bytes that constitute the implementation. And I added some masked bytes just for the demo purpose. Uh, we can see how it is implemented in the code. Uh, so First uh, register uh, segment uh, 33 hex is pushed. Then uh, there is a call to the next line so that the next address will be pushed on the stack. Then uh, to this address that is on the stack, we are adding five. So the bytes uh, of the further instructions are added so that we will reach the next line down there. Um, so we have this line basically pushed with, with segment 33 perpending it. And we do the red F. And uh, red F is different than the normal casual red because it returns not only to the others that was pushed, but also uses the segment that was pushed. And this causes the switch to 64 bits. Um, and the further code is gonna execute in 64-bit. So it's one of the 
um, ways to call it, one of the ways to implement Heaven's Gate. We can also use uh, far down, for example, to achieve the same. But that's how I know Radamantes implements it. And with the help of uh, this signature, we will be able to detect Radamantes modules uh, in memory. And I'm going to run Holos Hunter. giving it this file and we will scan the memory uh, with those signatures. First, I'm going to run just full system as a demo. Nothing should be detected because the system is clean. So yeah, uh, it scanned all processes, the scan took 15 seconds. And now uh, we're gonna run this Radamantis sample and try to dump the modules that uh, include this Heaven's Gate implementation. And uh, so that I will, I will not scan all the processes, but only um, the process that I need, I will use a filter in Holus Hunter. So there are several filters that allow you to narrow down what exactly processes are you interested in. And there is a filter P times that allows to scan only processes that were um, executed recently. So we don't have to scan the processes that are running from the previous um, time, we can only scan processes that are freshly run. So I'm going to use it with parameter zero. It means only processes that were run after Holos Hunter will be scanned. And I'm going to run it in a loop. So it will keep scanning. And let's run it. Now I'm running Redamantis. So it found something. And indeed it found some shellcode with our patterns. Even two of them in different processes. Okay, I can kill it. We have the material for the analysis. Let's have a look. Okay, so there is an XS module mapped in the memory. Interesting. I was able to capture before it erased the headers. And another one. Okay. Uh, let's have a look for a while on scan report. because the scan report will give us details uh, how many patterns were found. And this time we use only custom patterns, but we could use both hard-coded patterns and custom patterns. Um, the summary is in the section patterns. So total mass means how many patterns in total, and it includes uh, custom patterns and hard-coded patterns, so it shows how many of them were merged. And custom merged is only user-defined patterns. So it found three um, you, three times it found some custom-defined pattern and total three patterns. So this, this is scan report and dump report details about the material that was dumped. So, of course, the shellcode was dumped um, in, the, in this file, and also pattern tag file was generated. So, details about the patterns, the list of offsets, at which patterns are there. And let's have a quick look in Hex Editor. 
if really those patterns are at those offsets. Let's see one of them. Does it look familiar? I think so. Yes. Yes, exactly. The pattern was matched and the offset of the match is there. But I think more interesting is to see this material in IDA. So let's load it and see. Yeah, this tag format is a format that multiple of my applications use. It's very simple and portable. So I use it also to mark the patterns. Um, but also it's the same format that um, Tiny Tracer uses uh, and also the, the format that is used by PEC to tag the hooks. And I have a plugin uh, for IDA that allows to load this format into IDA. So we will load it. And the tags were added as comments. And let's see where they are. Here it is. As you can see, Heaven's Gate was tagged, and yeah, indeed it looks like Heaven's Gate, so detection was valid. Another match also looks valid. And yeah, this is how we can find all the matches. We verified that indeed it is what we expected. The matches make sense. So that's, that's the result. For the other one, I think the matches are the same. So I'm not going to show it again. Um, but yeah, it's, this is what I wanted to show for today. Um, please have a look at the wiki, um, experiment with it, uh, give me some feedback and I hope you will like this new feature and I hope it will uh, help you in, in your daily work as, as a malware analyst uh, or incident responder. Um, that's all what I have for today. Uh, thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Bye.